Welcome back. Shanghai Disneyland reopened on Monday following more than three months of coronavirus shutdown. And as China moves nearer to normality and Walt Disney Company seeks to plug the flow of red ink caused by the pandemic. Andrew Balstein, Senior Vice President of Operations at the resort, said the vast majority of attractions and facilities were open and that they will be adding more and more as time goes on. Take a look. First thing is about ticket purchasing. So we are going to limit the number of attendees we have in the park on any given day. Uh, this is really to help us with social distancing uh, and also to follow our local regulations here. So we will limit the number of attendees, which means we're asking all of our guests to make a reservation before they come to the park. So you can do that in a couple different ways. We have data tickets that are our normal tickets for the day. So that has a date, has a reservation. Uh, we're able to purchase those in advance only. Uh, we will not have tickets available here at the park at the ticket booths at normal purchase them through our normal direct channels or our travel trade partners. Uh, that's where you get the tickets from. We do have the vast majority of our attractions and rides available. Most of our shows, our restaurants, our shops, our guest services will all be available here starting today. However, there will be a few things um, that we will not be offering. Uh, mainly some interactive children playground areas, water play, those kinds of experiences uh, we want to avoid at the beginning. In addition, uh, due to social distancing concerns, we want to avoid large group gatherings. And in that sense, parades, nighttime spectaculars tend to bring a lot of people together to see those types of experiences. So again, at the beginning, we will not be offering either one of those. Now, Disney said there would be increased frequency of sanitization and disinfection and that the park will limit or suspend performances that often include interaction between visitors and characters such as Mickey Mouse. Now, despite the measures and persistent fear of new infections, tickets for the first day sold out within minutes after going on sale last Friday, according to Chinese state media. Disney shot the Shanghai Park in late January, followed by others in the United States, France, Japan, and Hong Kong. Disney CEO Bob Chepek said last week that, quote, we are seeing encouraging signs of a gradual return to some semblance of normalcy in China. Disney has, meanwhile, delayed the release of more than a dozen major films as cinemas have closed. Revenues from new streaming platform Disney Plus have helped limit the damage, however, as home confinement has effectively provided an enormous captive audience.